I try to imagine what it would have been like at Fort McHenry with the bombs bursting over the fort, some of the cannonballs landing within the fort, killing some of the soldiers. The French fleet is in the harbor, and they're supporting America's bid for independence. In the prison on one of those ships was a writer named Francis Scott Key. He had the wherewithal to write a song that would later become our national anthem. It took a while to get there, but it is now. And what a great thrill it is to walk onto a stadium field and sing it. Then suddenly you feel the adrenaline come in and you feel this song that you have sang so many times that means so much to so many. And that is the anthem for the United States of America called the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled gold banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the 